Tonight, an Indianapolis woman is concerned after she found this cut-off GPS monitor in her neighborhood. And tonight, she's speaking exclusively with Fox 59. The monitor appeared to be pretty brand new, and all the attachments with it were all still together. This is just our latest investigative report into Marion County's GPS monitoring system. Thanks so much for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Dan Spieler. And I'm Fanchin Stinger. A shocking find indeed. There are lots of serious questions surrounding the discovery of this monitor tonight. And Fox 59's Courtney Crown, she is getting some answers for us. She joins us in the studio right now. And Courtney, one of the big questions tonight. Where does this device belong? Well, Fanchin, we are still working to track down, down those answers. We just got new information into the newsroom just about 10 minutes ago. At this time, we're still working to figure out whether this is connected to the juvenile justice system, which the, the Marion County system uses this company, or if it's from an outside county. Tonight, we are still working to learn who it belongs to and what crime this person is accused or convicted of. It was right here, right on this bridge. Just laying there, all of it, right together, neat little pile. An unusual sight startled Elizabeth Sunday as she took a walk over Crooked Creek on the northwest side. Someone discarded a GPS device and supplies along the road. The band itself was cut at an angle with something that appeared to have been very sharp. And when we got it home, <laughs> of course we're gonna plug in the battery, and uh, it immediately started flashing green on the side of the monitor, which let us know that it was live. She noticed a number on the device and she called it. It was a recording from a company in Colorado that suggested I mail the, uh, the monitor and all everything to them. The recording promises a reward for a return device and we called again today. You have reached the VI return center number. To receive the reward, please return the found equipment to P.O. Box 111. Elizabeth called the non-emergency line next. I described the situation. She said, well, who do you want to speak to? And I said, I don't know who I'm supposed to speak to. Ultimately, an IMPD officer came to her home and took the monitor. And told me that it would go into a property room. Has anybody called you since you made those calls? Only you. This device belongs to BI Incorporated, a GPS device vendor for Marion County's juvenile system. We are still working to get answers from the juvenile courts on their GPS monitoring program. By the time we discovered this device was connected to their system, the courts closed for the day. That's my first concern, that it's that easy to remove. Elizabeth hopes more community members will voice their concerns. I think it's up to all of us to step up when we find things like that. I don't want people to be afraid to pick up the phone and, and make that kind of a phone call. And again, within just the last few minutes, we did hear back from the courts in Marion County. They say they are confident this is not a device from their program. We will have their full statement available on our website soon at fox59.com. And we will continue tracking down who this device belongs to and to which agency. Fanchin. All right. We know you'll stay on it and we'll get new updates for you as they develop. Thank you so much, Courtney.